Live from Studio Brian's Room, it's Saturday afternoon. This is the Brian Welch video blog. You know what that is, Catchy. That's as catchy as that, uh, that Mbop tune that was so big for a little while in there. Catchy as that Macarena. Anyway, folks, uh, just saw something interesting. Derek and I were checking out YouTube. This YouTube thing, man, it's the best option I've got right now. Uh, and it said from the 11th to the 18th, they were not recording uh, a view count properly. So I'm looking at, you know, last episode, it said 11 views. I could have like 3,000. Wouldn't even know. I mean, I wasn't tracking them. Who knows how popular I am all of a sudden? I certainly don't. You got to tell me, YouTube. I don't, I don't know. Send me some emails, you know. Write in. Let me know. Uh, I want to tell you guys, uh, I want to tell a little story about work. I don't talk about work all that much. Uh, I work in an office supply store. Get pens real cheap, man. Let me know. You need some pens. You need uh, you need rollerball. You need gel. You need ballpoint. I'm your guy. Uh, so listen, we're getting ready. It sounds early, but we're getting ready for back to school. Back to school, man. That is our Christmas. Uh, we do so much business for like three weeks in there when all the schools are starting up. We do crazy business. And Christmas, really, not so. Christmas is like our Hanukkah, like our Hanukkah, uh, which I was worried about spelling in my notes. Like you were gonna read this. And be like, you spelled Hanukkah wrong. Because there's like four ways to spell it anyway. What do you know? It's like Gaddafi. There's no one right way to spell it. Spell Gaddafi however you feel like it. Gaddafi, Gaddafi. Whatever. Uh, so, in order to make sure that we are ready for back to school, the district manager, or the DM, comes in and does a walk at the store. Which, by the way, we say the DM's coming. I think he's going to show up wearing a cape with a big bag full of different sorts of dice. And I have to pass my constitution check. Guess what I was doing last night made me think of that joke. Uh, so he comes in. He checks everything out. Everything goes pretty well. Except he comes to uh, our last aisle. Where up above the shelves, up in the top stock, we keep our office chairs in boxes. And we got a lot of chairs, man. We have got more empty chairs than, uh, than a Pirates game last season. The Pirates are coming along. They got some crowds pulling in. And, you know, with the Pirates coming up, this is like, you know, Pittsburgh. I don't even know, man. They're taking off as a multi-sport juggernaut city like Boston. And I don't need that. Luckily, they don't have a basketball team. Thank goodness they can't dominate all four sports. But, man, I think the, the Pittsburgh fans take some solace in, well, we don't have a basketball team, but that's better than having the 76ers. Oh! Uh, sports jokes coming from this guy. What's going on? What's become of this world? So uh, he's looking at these chairs, and uh, we have them stacked like you would put books on a shelf, uh, sort of like the, the narrow way. So you've got the side of the box sort of facing out, if you can picture that. And uh, he says, this is not up to standard. They've got to be facing out. So imagine you've got your bookshelf, and you've got them like you would put books away, because it's very, you know, it's very good use of the space, good feng shui. Uh, and then someone says, nope, you got to turn them so we can see the, the front cover. And it's a shallow shelf, so you can only fit one, maybe two books deep into that shelf. Also imagine these books are like 40 to 50 pounds and, and very large. They're office chair box shaped books. Then my analogy starts to come pretty close to what I was dealing with. Uh, and so they're just like, you know, we got to turn them. Brian, you look strong. Your wiry strength. Put in my put in my belt of giant strength. Uh, so then I got up there, and, and and this is like these chairs are like ten feet up in the air. They are on just floating in the air. They are they are on top of it of a of the aisle, where it's not like pass, you know passengers customers are shopping for them. You know we get them down. It's to see these even you have to crane your neck like you're you know a country bumpkin. It's your first time in the big city. To see these chairs, people are not seeing these chairs on a regular basis. It's okay. But we gotta turn them all out. So imagine then how many chairs this just pushes off. We don't have any space to put these chairs, they're just piling up in the aisle. And they're like, yeah, that's better. That's a that's a better thing that's happening right now. No, it's not. No, it's not. We've been doing everything fine. This guy just walked out the door and we just gotta fix the problem that he's given us now. He doesn't work here day to day. No, he doesn't. Anyway. So I don't want people to get too fired up about this. Uh, and so 
I'm busy rearranging these chairs and one of my managers comes over and goes, this is stupid, I can't believe we have to do this. And I said, you're right, no human being would stack chairs like this. And then, boom, I flash my Ghostbusters tattoo, because it's from, sort of from Ghostbusters, I paraphrased. Uh, this is what I should do every time that I reference that movie. I should flash the tat. I would have today in the episode, but I put Derek in charge of wardrobe. Derek, of course, my intern from the University of Toledo. Go Rockets. Uh, and I was like, you know, I gotta be able to get to my shoulder for this episode. And he pulls out this long sleeve, which I like. However, it doesn't work for the episode. Um, by the way, when I say Derek was in charge of wardrobe, I mean... When I'm getting ready in the morning, he lays out my clothes and makes sure the socks match. So I'm not embarrassed when someone checks them out. Uh, so maybe I'll show you, for those of you who have not seen it, in a future episode. Uh, you know, when, when we got paid subscriptions for this whole thing. Because I don't just give this away. You know, this is not free. This, this, is a, this, represents, this represents a lot of work. This doesn't just happen. All of this that you see right here on the screen doesn't just happen. It's not an accident. Uh, and sort of speaking of going back to my uh, referencing Ghostbusters, I, I I like to quote music, songs, and uh, and movies a lot. A lot of people do. That's not like a, a rare talent of, of mine or anything. I also like to adapt quotes to fit a, a situation. Like I just, you're right. Nobody would stack. No human being would stack books like this. The line is nobody would stack books like this. Okay, I changed it to chairs. But there are people that you do that, and they go off and, and rattle off the original line. I know what it is. I know what it is. I'm just contextualizing and, and working it in to our life. This is real, not what's in the movie. And that's it, it's, it's two levels. It's what's happening now. It's what's in the movie. It's very funny, if I do say so myself. I always, do, I always enjoy it. And this person just has to go rattle off the, the original line. It's, that doesn't prove anything to me. I don't, I'm not impressed. I'm not. Uh, anyway, I'm getting all worked up here. I don't even know what's going on. But we are close to wrapping up here. Derek is going to give me a latte. A big latte. And a latte. A latte latte. I haven't made like a, a, whole, a whole lot of latte. There's a whole lot of latte going around. And I am going to sign off because this is just getting ridiculous. <laughs>